let you know, ladies and gentlemen, I do all my own choreography. on a chair next to my husband's bed. That was lucky, wasn't it? <laughs> and I've done my makeup this evening, especially to make myself look older and much more tired. How did I do? Really well! <laughs> I've got PMT, ADHD and OCD. I'd like to strangle you, but I can't focus because I have to wash my hands. <laughs> You will do anything to stop those wrinkles. My Aunt Sylvia's just had herself laminated. <laughs> and I bought myself a new wrinkle cream. Use it once a day, you look younger in a month. Use it twice a day, you look younger in two weeks. I ate it. <laughs> See my best friend, she had a facelift this year. <gasps> it doesn't look right, they've made her too tight. She chews and her eyebrows go up and down. <laughs> She lifts her chin and her toes fly up. <laughs> and my sister looks fabulous, she's moved to LA. She's been nipped and tucked and pulled and snipped and nipped so many times. The doctors have taken all the loose skin and made a little person out of it. All the box along the side. <laughs> I love LA, LA's crazy. Everyone gets something done in LA. It's fabulous. Yeah. I was there for two weeks waiting to join the ship. I stayed with my sister. And uh, on the second day of being there, my car got rear-ended by a woman who was woozy because she just had her lips blown up with collagen, which was lucky because her airbag didn't deploy and they saved her life. <laughs> Looking round, I'm just glad there's more than ten people. <sighs> Because I was working in England three months ago and only ten people come to see me. And I went up to the manager and I said, excuse me, I said, I can't work to just ten people. He said, don't worry, Joe, we've got a bus coming. And this bus pulled up outside. Everybody got on it and they all went home. <laughs> and I've been crying today because looking back, I just wish I would have been a little bit nicer to the mother-in-law. Maybe I could have just gone round and told her a few jokes and made her laugh. Even just gone out for a cup of coffee. Or just watched Britain's Got Talent with her. But it's too late now. Because... She's won the lottery. <laughs> you got me jumping like a crazy clown. And I told you what you put in that. My husband's tight, he's so tight he only breathes in. <laughs> he won't even wear elasticated underwear because they give. <laughs> we just had to have his ears pierced so the kids can see the television. <laughs> he sat on his iPhone yesterday, now it's an iPad. <laughs> Always big. You can only play seek with the kids. <laughs> I never had any luck with men. I always remember going home with my first boyfriend and my dad said, oh, you can't go out with him, he's your half-brother. I didn't know, I had to finish with him. I took another one home and my dad said, you can't go out with him, he's your other half-brother. <laughs> I was heartbroken. And my mum said to me, Joe, you don't keep your boyfriends long, do you? 
I said, well, Dad said they're all my half-brothers. She said, take no notice of him. He's not your dad. <laughs> Because a single woman, she opens the fridge, sees what's in the fridge, goes to bed. The married woman opens the bedroom door, looks what's lying in the bed, <gasps> back down to the fridge. <laughs> Capital O is the men o pause. Oh, and I've been thinking about this word, men o pause. And I've been thinking, how come everything painful to women always begins with the male gender? Men oh pause. Menstruation. His terrectum. Gynecology. And then you wonder why we suffer with mental illness. So thank you gentlemen for giving women all these problems. We salute you. <laughs> Where I've gone plan, ladies, we'd like to give something back to the men. Gentlemen, we give you a hernia.